This is James Routon, and welcome. Our new book, Safety Culture, an Innovative Leadership Approach, was published in September 2013. In our book, we took an approach to define the perception of safety and what it really means as we see it from our professional perspective, which is the development and sustaining of an organization's safety culture, which requires a multidisciplinary approach to understand the perception about safety. In our view, to be successful, there must be an understanding of the environment, compliance-related aspect, basic safety management systems, human error performance, communication, and the like. Based on our experience and research, we can say with confidence that for a safety culture to be developed and sustained successfully, the leadership team and employees must change their perception about safety itself and how an effective safety management system works. Wayne W. Dreyer said it best, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. Therefore, based on that statement, we can conclude that safety is not simple as it may seem. The reason is that based on experience, organizations are not static and are constantly changing. With that said, a true safety management system desires some level of stability to help build a successful safety management system or process that is permanent in nature and remains unchanged with time. In addition, a safety system can be complicated as it is a complex network of many business skills, psychological and scientific interactions combined with internal and external resources. Therefore, improving a safety culture is also dependent on your sphere of influence within the organization and how well networked you are into the overall organizational structure. We have found through our experience that we, as safety professionals, have shifted our thinking from just being a sole primary information source and have expanded our knowledge into researching and mentoring others how to deploy a safety management system to ensure that the proper safety information is utilized. If you apply the old Chinese proverb, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. I think you get the picture. In our book, we encourage everyone to shift from a loss-based safety process that only uses injury data to drive decision making to a risk-based approach that helps to decrease the probability of severe loss-producing events and is to some degree documented in safety management systems such as the NZZ-10-2012. In conclusion, we believe in the need for the safety professional to not only be proficient in hazard recognition and control, but to understand the impact of communication, social networking, not just the internet, and the perception of safety when trying to build a business case on developing a safety culture and the safety management system. I wish everyone the best of luck.